Um, Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning, Part 1. It all starts out with a Russian submarine who just installed an AI in this great big seal room on board ship. Seems to be a lot of space between the AI and the rest of the ship. But the AI decided that uh, they didn't like the Russians. So while he, he, the AI was locked into a room, he created, I should say he created, because he created an incident on the ship where the Russians launched a torpedo at a fake target underneath the Arctic ice. Huh? We're at war? Well, no. The AI just made an illusion that you're at war. Everything said you were at war. And what the Russians did, they fired a missile where the AI, instead of having it go straight, had to turn around and come back to the, the sub, which blew up, blew up the engine room. And two of, the, two of the Russian officers who had the keys around their neck floated to the surface. Okay. Then it got interesting. Now the, the whole process of the film itself is to get the two keys find the location of the sunken sub in the Arctic, Arctic, yeah, Arctic, and retrieve the AI so it doesn't do any more damage. It seems the AI, who thinks for itself, uh, has taken over the world. Schwarzenegger in a box. <laughs> well, yeah. And uh, uh, Tom Cruise has to get, get the keys back together and then find the location of the sub and retrieve the AI, and that's in part two. Otherwise, it's, it's, a, ni it's a nice little film. Uh, worth seeing? I saw it on DVD. I, I see movies on DVD. I, I don't go to the theaters. Special. <laughs> yeah, there's a new uh, virus out there now even deadlier than the old virus. <laughs> yes. But the budget was $291 million. And the uh, box office take was $567.5 million. Made money for the part two. Which a lot of movies out there don't make more money for the Part one or part two or part three. A lot of my m m movies are on Netflix because they're not worth releasing. <laughs>